Alrighty there folks, Logan Alec here with another cash back review. Today I'm reviewing Be a Frugal. I'm reviewing it because I just used it actually and I wanted to tell you about it. So what is Be Frugal? It is one of those online shopping websites where if you make a purchase through the website, you get cash back into your account. Pretty much every time I make a purchase online, I see if I can get cash back through one of the cash back sites I'm a member of and Be Frugal is just one of them. Uh, so basically, I wanted to buy a particular floor lamp uh, to put back here to kind of uh, spruce up my YouTube studio. My wife found one on overstock.com that she thought would work well. She showed it to me. I liked it. Uh, so I was going to buy it, and naturally, I wanted to get some cash back on it. So I checked Rakuten, because uh, Rakuten is typically my go-to cash back site for online shopping. So I checked the uh, cash back rate on Rakuten right now for overstock.com, and it was 4%. Pretty good, right? Uh, but it's possible I could do better, so I looked around at other cash back sites, and I found that the best offer right now for cash back at Overstock happened to be at Be Frugal, okay? offering 7% cash back at overstock.com. And uh, this brings up an important point here with these cash back sites. At any given moment, Right, Rakuten may give the most cash back uh, right now. You know, at some store, uh, for another store, right, uh, another site might give the most cash back. For another store, might be another one. For Overstock right now, it happens to be Be Frugal. If you really want to maximize your cash back with online shopping, you have to kind of look around and see what the different sites are giving out right now in terms of cash back uh, for a particular retailer. And then at that point. It's just about, okay, does this cashback site accurately track my shopping trips in the browser? Do they record a, uh, you know, a correct amount of cashback? And do they, do they pay out, right, uh, when you want to cash out? And that's it. That's basically how I review and evaluate a cashback site like Rakuten or, uh, or Be Frugal. So in this video, I'm basically going to walk you through uh, how Be Frugal works and evaluate it based on the criteria that I just shared with you. If after watching this video, you wanna join Be Frugal, be sure to use my link down in the description below. You'll get a $10 bonus in your Be Frugal account once you earn at least $10 in cash back on Be Frugal within your first year of, uh, of joining. And that's pretty easy to do if you shop online a lot. So after you sign up for Be Frugal, which is uh, super easy by the way, you can do it with your email or Google or Facebook or Apple, you're gonna see the Be Frugal home screen. They have a lot of their most popular cash back offers on screen. But what I usually do is I just search the store that I'm looking for, right? Because I'm usually uh, looking for one particular retailer. So in this case, I searched Overstock. There it is, 7% cash back. Click on that. And then once you click on the store you want to shop at, before you click Shop Now, you want to check the cash back terms. Because for some stores, uh, you might only get cash back if you buy a certain kind of item at that store, right? Maybe you only get cash back on appliances at that store uh, or something like that. So be sure to check out the cash back terms uh, for whatever offer you're looking at. I did that for Overstock. It says the cash back rate of 7% applies to online purchases. So that's very broad, right? There's no specific category where the cash back only only applies to that category. Uh, so that basically this means that any purchase on overstock.com through Be Frugal will get 7% uh, cash back uh, at least at this time. So I was happy about that. I clicked on shop now. It's taking me to overstock.com and now I basically shop on overstock.com like I normally would. So I searched for that lamp that my wife found. There it is right there. I clicked it. She suggested the brass variety. I like that one as well. Um, so I bought that lamp. You know, I, I added it to my card. I checked out. I'm not going to show you the checkout process for obvious reasons, but I just bought the lamp on Overstock. And then when I was done, Overstock said, you know, thanks for your order. Yay. So uh, then what I like to do is I go back to Be Frugal and make sure that uh, Be Frugal has recorded the shopping trip. They probably won't have processed the order yet. Uh, in Be Frugal this quickly, right, immediately afterward, but I at least want to verify that they saw that I clicked over to overstock.com from Be Frugal. Um, so after I was done shopping, I went back to Be Frugal, I clicked on my account, then shopping trips, and I saw there that yes, Be Frugal recognized that I clicked over to Overstock from Be Frugal at 3.34 p.m. on March 18th, 2021. So a few hours later, I went back to uh, this section of Be Frugal to check that Be Frugal had recognized that I actually bought something on Overstock. So I went to the same screen under my account, uh, shopping trips. Now there's a green money bag next to the Overstock uh, shopping trip. That means that Be Frugal has now recognized that I actually made a purchase at overstock.com. If I click on that green sack, it shows the order amount of my Overstock purchase as well as the cash back I will earn. So that's awesome. And sure enough, that $6.83 divided by $97.59 is 7%, the 7% I saw advertised. Now, I can't cash this amount out immediately. Why? Because Be Frugal wants to make sure I'm not just going to make this purchase, right? Cash out on Be Frugal, you know, and then close my Be Frugal account and then return the item 
to overstock. So you generally have to wait a couple of months before you're able to cash out. And that makes sense, right? They don't want to lose money on people playing these kinds of games with getting the cash back, uh, you know, from Be Frugal and then returning the item. So uh, now I'm going to show you how to cash out on Be Frugal. You click where it says payouts on this screen. You can see what you can cash out for right now. The top line payable cash back. That's your base cash back rate right now. Payable. Uh, account bonuses, that's for referring people to be frugal. I'll talk about that later in the video. And the third line there is for various bonuses you can get if you choose to cash out via a gift card or rather than cash. So uh, let's talk about the cash out methods now by scrolling down. At the top here of the list of payout methods, you just have your typical cash payments. There's no bonus with these. You can get direct deposit, PayPal, uh, Venmo, but for all those, you need a minimum $25 balance in your account. Then there's Zelle which has no minimum essentially to cash out. Uh, then you have paper check, which also is a $25 minimum to cash out. And then you have the gift card options. And these gift card options give you a little boost ranging from one to 6%, uh, depending on what gift card you choose. Historically, I've done Amazon gift cards, which give you a 1% uh, kind of additional bonus on your cash back. But a new one I actually just noticed right now is the Visa prepaid card that gives a 5% boost, obviously more than 1%. The thing to watch out, uh, with this Visa prepaid card is the uh, the expirations because they must be activated within four months of when they're issued to you and they must be used within seven months from activation. So if you go this route, don't forget about your Visa prepaid card. The card is actually delivered electronically. If you do want a physical gift card, you would have to pay a $3 fee. I don't know why you would do that. Uh, in fact, I prefer electronic, right? You don't have to wait for it in the mail and there's no fee involved. Um, and the good news is that the Visa prepaid card is accepted anywhere Visa debit cards are accepted. Now, because I tend to be forgetful sometimes, my plan is to get this Visa debit card and immediately use it to buy Amazon gift cards in my Amazon account because Amazon gift cards don't expire. So that's how I'm planning to get this 5% boost for the Visa prepaid card, but also foolproof myself from letting it expire. Um, so as you can see, there are other gift cards you can redeem uh, and get a boost. There's Sephora, Nike, Hotels.com. Those are nice because they're a 6% uh, boost, but I simply don't shop at those places enough to justify uh, but, you know, redeeming my, my cash back for a gift card there. You have Lowe's, 3%, Starbucks, 2%, Walmart, 1%, Kohl's is another 5%, Bed Bath & Beyond is 3%, Amazon is 1%. So now I'm going to scroll to the top, click uh, Request Payout, Confirm it. Sure enough, I checked the next morning and my Visa gift card was ready in my account. I clicked Redeem Now. That took me to a third-party website. Because this is technically a Visa debit card, I had to input my information, click Confirm, click Agree. And then there I had it, my virtual Visa card information. So I went over to Amazon, searched for gift card, and I bought an Amazon gift card in the amount of my Be Frugal reward, added that to the cart, added the prepaid Visa gift card to my Amazon account, bought the Amazon gift card, and it arrived in my email instantly. And I was able to apply it to my Amazon account uh, immediately. Be Frugal is a legitimate cashback portal, as you can see. It's what I'm looking for in a cashback portal, easy to use, correctly track shopping trips, pays out promptly as it should. Just one last thing I want to say about Be Frugal, it has a referral program, so if you click on refer and get $10, uh, now this could be different when you're watching this, it might be more or less than this, but right now the reward is $10. Basically, you can go here and get your Be Frugal referral link that if you share with friends and they use your referral link to sign up for Be Frugal and they earn at least $10 in Be Frugal cash back, both you, the refer, and they, the referee, get a $10 bonus, so that's pretty cool. If you want to sign up for Be Frugal, like I said, I'd love it if you use my referral link below uh, down in the description down there. Now let's go over the pros and cons to be frugal, starting with the pros. Pro number one, it works. It works like it says it does. It's legitimate. There's no shenanigans here. They don't play games with not sh uh, tracking shopping trips. They, pre they pay out promptly. It's a legitimate site, right? And I put this as a pro because I have had experience with other cash back sites that are not legit, but be frugal uh, is legit. Pro number two, no cash out minimum if you cash out with Zelle, okay? Zelle basically deposits money into your bank account, right? Other online shopping cash back portals, they often have some kind of minimum, but with be frugal, you can actually cash out to Zelle even if you have only a penny in your account. Pro number three, if you're willing to cash out to a gift card, you'll get a little bit of a bonus cash back ranging from 1% to 6%. Not every cash back offers opportunities like that. Rakuten, for instance, does not. And also, Rakuten does not give you the kind of flexibility that Be Frugal does when cashing out. Uh, Rakuten pays out four times a year 
on a specific date each quarter, and you can only cash out via PayPal or paper check, but BeFrugal actually gives you more flexibility as well as that bonus cash back if you choose to cash out for a gift card. Pro number four, BeFrugal has generally high cash back rates, and sometimes it does give the most cash back at a particular store for a particular item, like it did in my case with Overstock.com. That said, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it really does pay to shop around at different cash back websites to make sure you're maximizing your cash back. Pro number five, there is a BeFrugal mobile app that you can use to get cash back. Same functions as the website. I didn't really go over it in this review, but the app uh, works fine. And pro number six, their referral program allows you to earn even more cash back. Now let's talk about cons. Con number one, the gift card receipt is not instantaneous. Uh, there is a one to two day waiting period in my experience, and I get it, they wanna protect against fraud, uh, but that can be a little bit annoying. Con number two, there is no in-store cash back with BeFrugal. So Rakuten has rolled out an in-store cash back feature. Unfortunately, BeFrugal does not have that at this time. And con number three, the, inter uh, the user interface, um, it's a little dated, right? It's not quite as slick as Rakuten, but you know what, it gets the job done. All right, folks, that is my BeFrugal review. Like I said, it is a legitimate cash back shopping portal website that I've personally used in the past. You saw me use it here in this video, uh, you know, to buy the lamp. And uh, they paid me in gift cards in the past. That said, I don't want to be a dead horse, but if you really want to maximize your cash back, you got to use them all, right? You got to use all the cash back sites and look for the one that's giving you the most cash back or rewards at any given time at the store you want to purchase from. Uh, speaking of which, on the next screen, I have some other reviews of reward sites. Uh, one good and one kind of questionable, but I would appreciate it if you check out uh, those videos as well and leave me a comment letting me know what you think and I will see you over in those videos.